Uh, hello, I just came back from a rock set concert at um, Rod Laver Arena tonight. It was awesome. Like, um, yeah, I had a really, really good time. Like, the best time like I could imagine. Um, it was interesting because I've been to concerts before and, um, you know, I've enjoyed them and stuff, but I've never really gotten, like, r like really, really, really into it. And, like, I was always wondering, like, you know, thinking, you know, how come, like, you know, I it's like I go and it's like okay but okay but um I don't get like really awesome but I think I just realized that it's because I didn't go to a band that means a lot to me or like one of my favorite bands and that's probably because there isn't that many bands that I like that much like um like I like them and they like their music but for like a band like Roxette is like when I was uh, in primary school uh, they were like my favorite band like when I was in grade five and six and in year seven and eight they were like my favorite band every song they released I liked it and it's awesome like I really like the rock set a lot they all yeah all their songs um and so yeah just recently um you know they they announced they were doing a tour in, in Melbourne and a concert in Melbourne so my, my friend um organized it and a whole bunch of little a small bunch of us went and um I enjoyed it so much like um like it was really cool because when I was listening to the music um it was kind of like bringing me back to like my childhood like like I felt a connection to like um you know my like grade six self in a way it was just like listening to that music it just um yeah brought back a lot of memories it felt like you know yeah like nostalgia but it was awesome. I really, because I, I haven't listened to the Roxette songs in a while, and um, I just remembered how much I liked them. Like you know, listening to them. Um, yeah, it was the. I had such a good night, and the that's probably the best concert I've been to in my life. You know, like just because um, that band means so much to me. Like um, yeah, I just I you yeah, can't describe in words properly how much I like that band. Like um, the two people is it. Mer Pierre and Marie uh, it's been a while so I might have forgotten their names but you know they just they seem like such you know nice people and you know um, they get along so well and um, their music like every song that they released I, you know it just I didn't even have to force myself to like it I just liked them and can listen to them over and over again and it's so they're so fun to sing along to they all sound different um um it's just awesome like in the stadium it was the best atmosphere because everybody in there was like you could just tell everyone was like a massive fan um i love the parts that i love the most among, among the parts i love the most was when the audience sang along with the songs just awesome like when you hear the whole stadium just singing along to it it's the best atmosphere another cool thing is just um it just seems i got them i felt really like really happy you know during it and afterwards like it just had such a good vibe the concert like it feels like um there was a lot of love in the room and like um the two you know the band is like you know like their their big heyday is over but it just felt like um they're still singing and making music because they like it and um yeah it's just awesome um it's cool that you know even though they have a new album at the moment they played all the all of their old songs that people love and you know they said that lo they love as well I think that's really cool um I was I was a bit worried like it's been like 20 25 years since they were you know in their in their heyday kind of thing and uh, I was wondering um would their voices still be as good but um their voices were awesome especially um Marie is it Marie um her voice is just amazing still um Another thing that's really cool is like I just found out today. Um, my friend Warren told me about this story that she saw on um, an interview with uh, the Roxette got in, were interviewed by um, Angela Bishop, and she said this whole long story, like a little short story about what happened, like um, in about two year two thousand. Um, um, Marie, um, she had a brain tumor, and you know, and so there was only like a 10, it was really bad and it was only like a 10% chance that she would um, live or something like that and um, the, 
that's why Roxette stopped making music and the guy um, Pierre he thought that was the end of um, the, this their their band day so um, he did his own solo thing he got he got a band together and was doing like concerts and stuff and then um, Marie got better and um, Pierre invited her to one of his concerts and um, when she was there he caught her up on stage and she didn't want to but he caught her up on stage and they sang some rock set songs together and um, later on she contacted him and, and asked him um, if he'd like to um, you know form rock set again and you know start doing it doing it again and and then he, he agreed to it and I mean I just think that's such a cool story you know like first of all it's great that you know she she made such a big recovery and you know she can do all this stuff and you know and just the fact that he he you know he stopped his solo thing and joined back with the band it's awesome I really lo like that a lot so and yeah it was such a good vibe um, watching them on stage um, you could just tell that they like what they do um, yeah um, yeah it's just awesome one of the best the best concert I've been to and I'll, well, I won't forget it um, and I'm glad I got to like be there live um, to see them perform um, my favorite rock set song uh, listen to your heart um, she, they sang that right at the end which is great because it's like my favorite favorite song since uh, since I was in grade six it was my favorite song out of all their songs oh it's hard to say I mean they're all good but that's my the favorite one of mine um, and they sang it last like as the encore thing and you, you should have seen like when they started singing the first few notes or the first few notes of the song came on the crowd just went Whoa, exploded it was, it was so cool and they did a lot of cool things like um I think is a joyride or dangerous one of those songs where they said about a big balloon when they sang that part they had this big massive balloon ball things that she threw out into the crowd and they were bouncing that around it was just fun like oh, such a fun vibe and it was just really really good um and the cool thing about listen to your heart when she was seeing that I singing along as well so it was like in my head I'm like I got to do a duet with um Roxette singing that song I've said that there was like thousands of people singing along as well but it was fun um another moment I really liked was when they sang um uh, the one from Pretty Woman suddenly got a mental blank must have it must have been love when they sang that um the, the whole audience, like, you know how they do that thing where they stop and they let the audience sing? Well, the audience sang along to that song and it was it sounded awesome hearing so many voices singing along to it. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I had a great, great time and uh, I will not forget that night. It's I'm so glad I went and so glad, you know, got the chance to. And, um, yeah, Roxette, my favourite band. Um, yeah, it just reminded me that that was my favourite band. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say.